hey guys welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing i hope you guys are doing good i hope you guys are doing great i hope you guys are wondering who this is <laughs> i know some of you are like who is this babe who is this holly okay yeah this is ada this is the ada you know okay? and in today's video i'm going to be discussing with you guys about a new business that i want to start in nigeria we are going to be talking about starting a business in nigeria ways of investing how i invest my money please this is just going to be a laid-back video we're not here to you know for business school this is not business school this is not where we're, we're not here to start analyzing and, and decentralizing <laughs> i'm just here to chat with you guys in layman's terms okay so my fellow lay women just come around okay let's discuss starting a business in nigeria and also how i invest my money currently and other ways of investing money i want you guys to be very interactive in this video let me know in the comment section how you are investing your money how you are making more money i always talk about how i'm investing my money you know in different ways and all of that i always talk about investing money because if you don't invest your money if you're not you know doubling your money if you're not growing your money you are going to be working for money for the rest of your life and that is not my plan i don't know what your plan is but my plan is not to be working for money for the rest of my life i want money to work for me so that is why i keep you know trying to update you know my investment options you know and even now i'm considering starting a business like for real for real before i've been considering it for the longest time like starting a legit business you know now that i'm doing youtube full time starting a side hustle that is legit as well but the reason why i hadn't started yet was because i didn't really have direction but right now i think i have direction right now i'm going for a training that's going to help me have you know the start well okay i'm going to talk more about what i'm going to be doing to help me start well and start on the right notes because i don't want to fail no i don't want to lose money eh, eh, i don't want to lose money i don't want to fail so i have put some things in place to help me start on the right notes okay which i'll get to later on in the video like i said please remind me if i forget remind me <laughs> remind me to tell you in this video so so far the major way that i have been investing my money is by using the piggy vest app i've talked about this a million and one times in fact i used to have a link to piggy vest in my description box i don't know if it is still there but i used to have the link there so that you can sign up if you sign up using my link once you put money in your account in your piggy vest account you are going to get 1000 naira extra and i'm also going to get 1000 naira extra so yes i'm not putting it there because uh, uh, i like piggy vest that much eh? <laughs> I'm going to gain and you're also going to gain okay so if you would like to start your piggy vest journey in saving and investing money just click the link in my description box and sign up okay as i've gone ahead to break down how the piggy vest app works but that's not what this video is about okay there's a part that is called invest so when you click on that invest you can go to explore it'll show you your active ones if you're already investing but you can also go to explore and you'll see other options wait oh, it's like one just Try it. when did this one get sold out now you know and they get sold out so quickly like when i say so quickly i mean if you see one now you're like hmm, let me think about it let me think about it and you come back tomorrow it might be sold out the last one i did i've done several ones but the last one i did which is currently still running is a sweet potato farm and it gave me 20 percent in nine months which is pretty good okay for nigerian economy nigerian standard 20% in 9 months is pretty good. So that is the one that I did. Sweet Potato Farm Investment. My money is still running. It's going to be due, you know, before the end of the year. Oh, it's due soon, no? Hey! I'm about to make it rain. I'm not making it rain. I'm not making it rain. I'm going to invest the money back. And the way the investment part works, they sell units, okay? So you buy as many units as you want. I think the lowest unit is 5,000 Naira. So you can buy just one unit and make 20% on top of it. And you can buy as many as... I think maybe 300 and something units or 400 i can't I, i've not really I've not, I've not i've not really checked the maximum i just buy the one with my money rich okay so they sell it in units and you your money is there basically for the duration so for the nine months your money has to be there but if for some reason you want your money back you want to sell there are people who are on standby to sell but make sure you are selling it for the right reasons because you are going to lose your interest so even if it's due next week and you sell this week you are going to lose all your interest you've accumulated for the past nine months so think long and hard before you decide to sell you know so i've been doing it like that and i've been you know it also helps me save money because once i do that i'm not touching that money i don't even think about if i forget about the money until the time the money is due so it's basically me saving and investing i just try and turn over 
sometimes I don't. Let me not even come and start lying. But at least I made money on top of it. So, but if you keep reinvesting, you are going to make a lot of money. They also have the dollar part, okay, the flex dollar, where you can invest in dollars and you get your interest in dollars. Basically, you get, I think, 7%. You get 7% per annum if you do the dollar investment on Piggyvest, but the money converts from Naira to dollar. That's why I don't do much of it. If it was in dollar, I would have just transferred my YouTube money straight there, okay? But because I have to, it's, it's transferred from Naira to dollar, maybe I'll check. Or maybe there's a way you can even transfer dollar to dollar. I don't know, but you convert from Naira to dollar. So that's why I'm not really doing much. I have some money there, but not really much. Then I also have money in my Flex. In the Flex Naira, if you have money there, you'll make 8% per annum. If you have money in your piggy bank, that's the main piggy bank, you'll get 10% per annum, okay? So that's about piggy vest. That's how I invest my money in piggy vest, all right? Then another way I invest my money is in a friend's business, okay? Yeah, so this one is very risky. I'm not even advising anybody. Don't say, oh, because I said it or because I'm doing it, I'm going to do it. Eh, eh, I'm not advising you, but I really, really trust this person. But in fact, person is more like a family member than a friend. So I invest in my friend's business and I get a percentage monthly, which is basically higher than most, you know, percentages because it's high risk as well so the percentage is higher but i don't have all my money there because i fear even if i have money more money to put i fear but not really this one this one i'm, not, I'm sure the person will not really my money but at the same time i i won't advise anybody to do it but i do it because when you're doing investments you have to try different types you have to try the high risk you have to try the medium risk and you have to try the low risk so i basically have money everywhere i have high risk i have low risk i have medium risk i don't have that many high risk because my heart my chest cannot just take it like i have enough money that if the money goes i will not die <laughs> You understand that kind of thing? If the money goes, eh, we'll still be fine. Then my medium risk, what is my medium risk? Now, what do I classify as medium risk? Okay, yes, I classify my medium risk as this piggy vest, all this potato farming and all of that. Your money can actually go, even though the money is insured and, or, and all of that. I think your capital is insured to a certain extent or something. So, to me, it is medium risk simply because the piggy vest app in itself is actually a known um you know app they have a base they are linked to banks i actually trust the piggy vest app a lot that's why i can't talk about it if not i won't talk about it i trust the piggy vest app a lot so that is why i'll classify those investments as medium risk because even though i don't trust the investments themselves i trust the piggy vest app okay does that make sense i'm sure it does right then my low risk investments are just my dollar is that really an investment okay yeah my dollar investment is a low risk low risk investment and then money in my piggy vest that's the normal savings i do in my piggy vest the one that gives me i have the one that gives me eight percent the reason why i still have the one that gives me eight percent is because that is money that sometimes i need money urgently i just go there and collect it you don't have any special days for withdrawal you can withdraw any day you can withdraw every day if you want but i think if you withdraw more than four times you're going to lose your as in you won't you won't accrue further interest in a month if you withdraw more than four times in a month you won't be accruing further interest okay but if you withdraw four times or less in a month then you're going to get your interest for that month okay complete so that is why i still keep some money there that you know savings is almost like my normal savings account where like i can easily withdraw from so that is what that one is for then my real actual savings now is the piggy bank itself so in that piggy bank is where i have my actual savings money that i'm not planning to touch you can also do target savings where you save money towards you know a certain target so anyway i start talking about piggy vest again this this video is not about piggy vest like i said so now that brings me you know to the major topic that i want us to discuss today and that is about starting a business in nigeria you guys i want to start a business the reason why i really want to start a business is that first of all i have the platform okay i have 30 something thousand subscribers you guys are my customers you guys are my customers so like I, I feel like i have a platform people come to advertise their business on my platform why can't i have a business that i can also advertise on the platform as well okay and also i need other ways to double my money i don't want my money to only just be an investment investment i want to do business okay i don't know why i don't really classify business as investments but yeah business is a form of investment whatever whatever but personally i don't really classify business as investment but yeah i want to do a business i have different options in my head that i want to do but 
I don't want to go the normal Nigerian route, which is, oh, I had this idea in my head. Eh, my friend say they work. My friend says she makes money from it. Let me just jump and go and do it. Eh, eh, I don't want to do that because so many people have lost money that way. So many people are stuck in businesses that way because they follow someone's mouth. They felt, oh, this person has this person has built house and the person is selling shoes. Me to let me go and buy shoes and be selling so that I can build my own house. Not knowing that the person took loan to go and build house. Not knowing that the person got, you know, financing from somewhere else. Not knowing that the person was handed down the house. Not knowing that some... The person got the house from a different way, not that, not necessarily that business. Or when person got a contract separate from the business, you don't know. But because oh, now clothes should they sell? No, make make me to go and sell my own clothes, you know. Or maybe it's even our husband's money. You don't know. So that is why I don't want to go that route. I want to really sit down and draw a business plan, and that brings me to what is going to help me draw my business plan. Okay, yes, I have signed up for a workshop which is organized by Quick Start Academy, okay? and the workshop is organized by the founder, which is Mr. Jonathan David. Okay? Okay. and he actually teaches people how to write business plans you guys when i talked with this guy i think that i spoke with him we, we spoke for like let's say an hour so but i learned so much because me i'm kind of person that whenever i'm listening to people that are intelligent my antennas like my ears my nose everything is open <laughs> my nose everything is open to absorb as much information as possible and he's someone who likes to teach he's willing to talk about it so that day i was asking him questions we were basically just discussing and i learned a lot and i was just like you know what i'm going for it i am signing up i am attending his you know the business workshop i'm going to attend the workshop the workshop starts on the 15th of october you guys if you are interested in writing a business plan and you are interested in doing business the right way you are interested in learning from people who have tried it and have tested it and have and it has worked for them they're not going to come and tell you the business to do they're going to help you that business that is in your head that is good for you that will work for you they are going to help you and teach you step by step how to write a business plan in 90 minutes like you legit write a business plan because I don't know about you guys though. Before, whenever I hear write a business plan, I'm like, eh, eh, I don't know where to start from in writing a business plan. I remember when I wanted to apply for the Tony Elumelu Foundation uh, funds or whatever, and they said, go and write a business plan. And this, I, I was racking my brain. I was like, which one is business plan? Then I was sewing. So I wanted to do something, something along, you know, my sewing line and all of that. But I didn't know where to start from, okay? If I had, if I knew about this guy then, you know, if there was a workshop like this. Maybe there was, but I didn't just know. Knowledge is key. Oh, knowledge is key. So that's why I'm bringing this thing to you guys. Knowledge is actually key. If I had known about someone like this then, I would have attended his workshop and I would have written that business plan. Maybe by now I would have, you know, one gotten the funds or whatever. But anyway, hope is not lost. Like, it's never too late. Okay, I'm happy that I'm even doing all these things now. Now that I have gained some experience and some, you know, I've, you know, gotten my feet burnt a few times. I've been my fingers burnt or whatever. I've dipped my feet in a few times. I'm happy that it is now that I am trying to start my own business. So I feel like I'm in a better place to make a more informed, more intelligent decision that will really help me in the future okay so yeah that is it though that's just it downside the business so the workshop like i said is on 15th of october i'm going to leave the link to everything in the description box so when you click the link it's take you to the page where you can register there's also a video on his youtube channel that will help you understand what you are going to gain from the workshop trust me from the video on his channel alone you are going to learn a lot like if you don't want to sign up or you want to just okay let me just go and watch this video and see whether this guy is actually what his you know onions are what is salt <laughs> whatever that language is if you want to know ah this guy is he really good does he really understand you know what he says he understands then please just go and watch that short video on his channel like i said the link is going to be in the description box and you will see what i'm talking about okay you guys know that anything that i feel is beneficial to you guys i'm going to bring it to you guys it is not sponsored like i said this one is not even sponsored as well but i'm going to be attending and i would like to have you guys attend with me okay i want us to level up next year 2022 is our year of leveling up even more. I don't know why I want to really like invest my money this time, like have a business running aside my investment because the way inflation is going, we have to mitigate this by actually making an income. Anyway, I don't want this video to be too long, even though I think it is. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Are you going to be signing up? If I'm going to be signing up, let me know in the comment section so that we can, you know, just gist about it afterwards and yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys Mwah.